Hey girls, Cassandra Brooks here with AMIClipper.com bringing you a highly requested and highly informative video. This is going to be how to walk in high heels. So maybe you've been a little too afraid to try walking in heels for your first time, or you just haven't mastered your strut in those sexy stilettos, well, this is the video for you. After this video, you girls are going to be prepared to confidently slip on just about any high heel. Even if you think you're too tall or you can't walk in heels, think again. Every fashionista should own at least one pair of fabulous heels. One pair? I guess I missed that memo. More like 100. <laughs> Anyways, heels are the perfect example of a true fashion must-have. They're a transformative item that can add a little extra to just about any outfit. First things first, you're going to need a pair of high-heeled shoes. If you're feeling a little nervous, you can definitely start off with a wedge to gain a little bit of confidence. Wedges are great because they offer the height of a heel, but they can be a little easier to manage than those skyscraper stilettos that I'm so in love with. So anyways, feel free to work your way up to those bad boys. And you can start with wedges that'll gradually move you into other shoes, like the latest trend right now, chunky heels. And then in no time, you can definitely graduate to those daring and confident spiky-heeled pumps of your dreams. I'm sure once you get your feet into heels, you'll be hooked. Well, at least I know I was. Now let's talk logistics. When walking, or attempting to walk in high heels, you need to remember the golden rule. Walk heel to toe, not toe to heel, or even flat-footed. Trying to plant your entire foot down onto the ground all at once will make your walk look strange. And when you put your toe down before your heel, this not only looks awkward, but it's probably gonna feel awkward as well. If you're putting your heel down first, immediately followed by your toes, this will look the best, and it's actually going to be giving you more balance. Speaking of balance, you don't want to overextend yourself. That's why it's very important to take small steps when you're wearing heels. Wearing heels is naturally going to make your stride shorter, and that's why if you've ever seen a woman in heels running late for work, she is taking what seems to be an excessive amount of really short, really fast steps. You will definitely be forced to take more steps than usual, so plan accordingly. Once you've figured out how to walk in heels, it's time to invent a signature strut. When trying to perfect your strut, it really helps to watch others walk in heels. So you can either go people watching on Rodeo Drive or just go to YouTube. I love YouTube. YouTube is loaded with tons of runway shows, so you can watch the pros do it. You will notice that models tend to exaggerate their strut on the runway. So just take what you like and tone it down for the street. What's really going to make that strut look awesome is walking with one foot in front of the other. And you can actually practice this anywhere that you can see a straight line on the floor. Wood floors, parking lots, basketball courts, they're all great training lines. So you really just want to concentrate on putting one foot down in front of the other. This is going to give you that hip sway that models are known for and guys just drool over. Possibly the most important rule when trying to master walking in heels is one we've all heard for just about everything. Practice makes perfect. Seriously girls, practice, practice, practice. You're going to be walking on tons of different surfaces when you're trying to learn how to walk in heels, so practice it first. Try walking on slippery floors, concrete, grass even. Ooh, I have a good tip for grass. It's actually kind of hard to walk in heels on grass, but the time may arise where you have to, so make sure you're putting all your weight on your toes. Otherwise, you will be sinking into the grass and you will be ruining those cute stilettos. And I don't want you girls to be afraid about going up and down the stairs in heels. It's actually fairly easy. You wanna make sure that you always hold onto the handle when possible. And throw out that rule I said about heel to toe when you're going down the stairs. Here, for safety, it's actually best to plant your entire foot down evenly on each stair as you make your way down. And when you're going back up, you wanna to try to put the majority of your weight down on your toes first. Sometimes you actually may misjudge a stair and if you were still walking heel to toe, you would be falling head over heels down the stairs. I hope the tips in this video have given you girls the courage to fall head over heels in love with wearing high heels. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching girls, stay trendy and I'll see you around.